Uh, I don't know why that was taught in medical school, but it was considered to be a fat-soluble vitamin and therefore stored in the body and it would act for a long period of time and it would build up and you'd get into trouble. But now, in recent years when we've had the technology to measure fat content of vitamin D, we find there's not much there. And the reason there's not much there is there's not much coming into the diet or we are avoiding sun. So uh, we have less vitamin D and therefore our fat tissue does too. Uh, it's not stored up there in high concentrations. You don't begin to store vitamin D in fat until you begin to build it up in the serum. And that doesn't occur until you already have relatively high 25-hydroxy D values. Now, it's at this point you begin to accumulate fat. If you were out here, you'd probably have a very healthy fat concentration of D, but not very many people are out there. These are studies that were done in under controlled circumstances where we can, can control how much was coming in and what the concentrations were under the circumstances circumstances. But uh, uh, the one thing students seem to recall is that fat-soluble vitamins can produce intoxication, therefore you have to be careful.